Well, good evening, and, uh, and thank you. Thank you, Rob, for that uh, generous introduction. Uh, you're worth every cent we pay you. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm truly honored to receive this award from the Montgomery County Chamber of Commerce. I want to thank Gigi Godwin and the entire board for this recognition. I certainly couldn't have received this honor without uh, Rob's support and his amazing team at Alexander and Cleaver. So big shout out to A&C. Thank you. I'd like to say a few words. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for giving me proof that all these evenings I've spent away from my family have been work-related. My family has been very supportive of my efforts as a business advocate, and I'm sure they'll continue that support so long as no one tells them I'm actually a corporate lobbyist. Uh, I've lived in Montgomery County for 22 years. My wife and I are raising two teenagers in Bethesda. And I bring this up because, as Rob said, I care deeply about our community. My work as a business advocate goes well beyond simply helping Lockheed Martin's bottom line. I'm proud to say that my work has had a positive impact on our community in many ways, enhancing national security, making our economy stronger and our state more competitive, advancing technology and innovation, and promoting jobs and opportunities for the next generation of scientists and engineers to work on the difficult challenges we'll face in the future. I want to thank everyone I've worked with over the years on these important issues. I'd like to make three points tonight. First, we're all in this together. Working as a business advocate is not a go-it-alone proposition. To be successful, you need strong support and allies. I found that support in the Montgomery County Chamber of Commerce. If you need to know what's going on and you want to get things done, talk to Gigi Godwin and join the chamber so you know what's at stake and you can play a positive role in making things better. Second, you've got to cultivate relationships. When I began my career in advocacy, my work focused solely on the US Congress. Today, I work across a broad spectrum at the federal, state, and local levels of government, not just in Maryland, but in many other states, too. And this experience has enabled me to work with leaders, many of them in this room, who not only talk about issues, but are committed to finding solutions, real solutions. And I encourage everyone in the business community to reach out to as many government officials as you can. Cast a wide net in finding partners and allies. Understand that you need friends on both sides of the political aisle. Recognize that business and the workforce are interdependent. That we can't be successful unless we are rowing in the same direction. My third and last point is that we should try harder to work together. Let me repeat that. Try harder to work together. Some people believe that every issue must boil down to a partisan fight, or that it's simply us against them. That view usually just prolongs the problem. We've got to get back to what I call the sensible center. The most pressing problems facing our community require all of us working together to find common ground and meaningful solutions. So I urge each of you to reach out build new partnerships so that we together can make our community the best it can be. Thank you very much.